But now we're in the domain of the rats. We've seen the rats a few times right now. But uh, this is where they are uh, originating from. I think that one's going to die. Then the incendiary battle is going to go. There we go. He explodes. But higher level enemies also mean we get more experience. Which means we're going to level up faster now that we're here. Which is how this game actually works. So you eventually forced to face higher level enemies which gets you up to that level really quickly which is kind of the way of cheating the experience system my melee damage is really high at the moment i feel like because even the uh the fire damage doesn't hold the candle to what i can do with my melee damage which is cool, but making my way through this area, I think I'll get to... Ow. I'll get to level 19 rather quickly. Just gonna shoot the rack. Is that a slacked rack? Okay. So that's a boss kind of normal type enemy. There we go. And I got slagged in return though. Look at that. That's creepy. So I think pretty much all those animals can have elemental effects. I told them it was to protect Pandora from a great evil. So basically, because th those bandits keep yelling over all the dialogue, but... They really need to add something that actually gives you the option to mute enemy. Because enemy screams are sound effects to me. They don't need to be as loud as dialogue. So basically, Angel is sick of Jack telling her what to do and using her for the, uh, well, the purposes that he's using her for. There we go. Let's open that up. Mm. Contemptible spy class molds. Plus 5% cooldown rate, but we get a lot of extra skills, so ambush and velocity. I have neither of those, but I'm gonna take it nonetheless, because those things sell for a buttload of things. That's a lot of health regen. But still, the 16% extra melee damage stacks with every other percentage I have already on melee damage. So I'm just gonna keep it at that. Can I actually damage... Ooh, wow. Yeah, I forgot. Dull weapons. We never talked about that. Dull weapons, when zoomed, actually fire in bursts. Including sniper rifles. And this is a chrysalisk, so a new type of enemy you haven't seen before. And those guys can only be damaged when you're firing at their feet. And actually have really high uh, health for some reason. I think I'm gonna die. Let's do that. I think, but I think, okay. And actually, melee. Uh, uh, I think I'm gonna die because I can't reach his other leg. And he's only, yeah, there we go. Those guys do a lot of damage, holy crap. That was totally my mistake. I need to fight Chrysalisks the correct way. They are a level above me, but that also means, oh wow, that's a setback. That they actually give me a lot of experience points if I manage to kill one of those. Uh, I can easily, because the melee damage you do on those guys is actually improved, so increased. So let's head down and kill them. Just to be clear, I don't need to kill them right now, which is, I mean, acceptable I suppose, but the extra experience is just going to be nice. That's one, because I think if I take out all three legs, this guy actually dies. So that's one, that's two, and that's three. How hilarious. You just set off my trap card. We need to be careful because my shields need to come back. And uh, fly over here. There we go. That takes down. I think I'm getting attacked by Rack, but I'm not seeing them. There they are. I find the bandits, okay. Burn tunnel rats. Oh, I think I might have lit something aflame. 
that burst on that sniper rifle is a bit annoying. Okay, are you are you okay, little man? There we go. Ooh, I didn't actually pick up the money from the chrysalis I killed. It's not that much, actually. It's ridiculously low. So let's move on. Because we only need to pass through the fridge at the moment, which is uh, why we're going to return to this later on. So, let's open up the gate into the next area, which is just going to be an elevator all the way up. So, like this. Without you, uh, down. Pandora down. has no hope. You have no reason to trust me, I get that. But if you're going to stop Jack from controlling the warrior, you'll need my help. Because I know where the key is. It's with me. There we go. It's with Angel, because Angel is the one responsible for charging the, the key as well with Iridium, which is what Jack is trying to do. So that means we can now get to the Highlands. And the Highlands is where things get a bit more interesting. So you can see these plates already, this, these signs, with uh, the annotation Invisible Assholes. So that's indicating a new type of enemies will be seeing right here. But this is where the game actually gets a bit greener. Which is why it's nice as well. So when we enter this area, if we enter this area, things start to go shaky, shaky, wobbly, wobbly, and there's sanctuary. And I'm awesome. Hey, killer! I phased the city. No big deal. Find a way back here as quick as you can. Yeah. No. no. Now that sanctuary's reappeared, you can use any fast travel station to get back to the Crimson Raiders. I'll mark the nearest one on your Echo device. Okay. Thank you, I suppose. You you might be wondering why Jack can't just fire at Sanctuary right now. I have no idea. I have no idea why he wouldn't be able to just fire Sanctuary out of the sky right now. Because, I mean, they're, they're right there. Just blammo. Sanctuary is done. But we need to use a fast travel station to get there. And, of course, this one right here. Hello. Hello. And you, it's incredibly elaborate at the moment, but uh, use. Error. Location sanctuary not found. Oh no, the phase blast must have taken sanctuary off the fast travel network. Um. Okay, head to the iridium extraction plant nearby. I think I know how to get you back to your friends. Thank you, Angel. You know, I didn't lie to you about everything. You really are the only person who can stop Jack. Roland, Lilith, and Mordecai. He defeated them long ago. They can help you reach him, but in the end, it will be you who brings Jack down. There we go. It will be us who bring Jack down. And there we have the Stalker. And Stalkers have this nasty habit of turning invisible if they want to. Because you can hear the swishy swishy already. They can actually turn invisible whenever they want, but they have shields. Okay. I want to get rid of a shield. Okay, that was completely by accident. I didn't mean to do that. Wow, they just explode, don't they? But there we go. Two stalkers down, and let's head into the valley. Go. Oh, I got slagged even. There we go. Well, that guy in the back, and I think one of them is around here. There it is. There we go. If I get out of zoom quickly enough, I can actually interrupt the burst. I'm not quick enough to do only one shot. Oh, there it was. Completely missed it, but there it was. There he goes. Killing stalkers all the way. If you take out the shield of a stalker, he actually loses his ability to go invisible. And uh, it's not, not just simple invisibility, by the way. These guys actually go full invisible. There we go. But they're really, really annoying, because the, the badass versions can actually uh, kill you rather quickly. There we go. 
Um, gonna have to swap to the corrosive gun because we're getting into loaded territory. And these are hot loaders. So that means these guys actually have just flamethrowers equipped. But with Tiny Tina's gun, we can actually take out loaders really nicely here. And the stalkers and the loaders are gonna start attacking them each other again because they're not the same faction. Ooh, and this gun is ooh, this gun is really inaccurate and zooms in quite a bit if you get uh, the sights on. There goes that one, and then the final one down it goes. Not the final one, apparently. Where is it? Wait, where is that coming from? Oh, there it is. He's in the middle of the wall. That hardly seems fair. Okay, there we go. A bit of peace and quiet. We're almost at the extraction plant already, which is nice. And we're gonna get into Hyperion occupied territory if you here. Can cross the river and steal a supply beacon, we can get Sanctuary back onto the fast travel network. I promise. Little as I'm sure that means right now. So, again, to repeat a bit, we uh, lost contact with Sanctuary, which is just still in the sky up there. But for some reason, we can't get to it because it's out of the fast travel uh, system. There it goes. And we need to get it back into the system so we can just fast travel to it using one of the, the normal fast travel stations we've used before. But before that, we need to get... Ooh, there we go, combat engineers. The human Hyperion soldiers. But the corrosion is really, really handy. And there we go, leveling up. There we go. So corrosive is really good against armor, so the yellow bars. Which is why we're, uh, for the first time, using an, a corrosive gun in a good situation. Because we didn't really have one of these before. I'm actually going to check out the skill point first. So, I want to spread out a bit. Backstab is also good. Um, and just getting one point into that might allow us to do something else. Although, you know what, let's go with follow through first. Because I think we still need... Two more points before we can go into resurgence, so getting held back on melee attacks. Which is gonna come in handy really nicely though. Yeah, this thing is really detecting a in the area. Maybe that can help you cross the river. There we go. Any Hyperion. Yep, there go your shields and everything else. Okay, where's that thing? So there's one surveyor flying around still. I'm gonna just... It's in my back right now. Or is it inside the building? That sometimes happens as well. Yeah, I think it's stuck inside the building. I'm not gonna look at it anymore. Okay. Darn. That exploder took out the bridge controls. Find another way across the river. So yeah, it's exploded by... Oh, by one of these. There it goes. Ow. Oh, what, what the hell just happened? Yeah, this is gonna suck because my gun just doesn't aim at anything anymore. There we go. And we can enjoy the three governing laws. Attackers are gold, treasures are your enemy, and both consider you disposable. But, I'm gonna have to reset there because, sadly, we were shot. I think the barrel must have exploded. And that must have uh, caused burn damage, which I couldn't get rid of before. Well, I died. Where the, Wait, where the hell did he go? Whoa, what the... Um, what the hell is that thing doing? That was bugging out. That's not supposed to do that. That was a bit weird. Yeah, it has a few little bugs. Nothing too serious, but... Uh, that was really, really weird. Never seen a surveyor do that before. Let's push that. And then I think that pulls the elevator over here. Hello. I can give you a grenade. Ow. Is the thing moving? It is moving. There we go. 
So instead of using the normal bridge, we're actually using the cargo elevator. Well, not really elevator. The cargo transporter to get across the water. Because of course Zero is a cyber ninja, but he still can't swim for some reason. He's not wearing heavy armor, so I don't know why he can't swim. But he can't! So let's get to the other side of the construction yard. Let's get that thing out of the way already. Oh god! Let's do that. And kill the constructor with some corrosive damage. Just gonna throw a few grenades at its face. No, not exploders. There it goes. There it goes. So constructors, we've seen these before. These just uh, stand still, but are really, really dangerous since they can actually just make more and more robots. So uh, definitely a priority. Steal lure supply shots. Anybody you need to steal a lure supply grid and get the moon base to send you an uncalibrated fast travel unit. You can family. use that to get Sanctuary back on the fast travel network. Simple, except not at all. So that beacon is a targeting uh, system for the, well, you know, Hyperion Space Station. We can use that to reconfigure uh, the fast travel system at Sanctuary and get it back to the network. So let's just take that and do just that. Look at that. And the earth is shaking. And there we go. Gluttonous Treasure is taking our lunar beacon. Don't need it. And I got a shield. Okay, that's annoying. Did that thresher just eat the beacon? Badass sight. Uh, you'll need to get that back. So let's take out the shield. And take... Okay. Oh, and I got the shield. It's shock things back again. And if I can get the burn status on it, it's going to be nice. And the shield is actually recharged because of the beacon for some reason. I think I got it. It's not getting its shield back. And let's get... Give me the final hit to get all the experience of it. Oh, Jesus Christ. And let's get to the sides here. I shoot the gun in the face. There we go. And then we can pick up the this looting supply beacon. There we go. You got the beacon? Good. We can use that to request an uncalibrated fast travel unit from the moon base. You'll need a quiet place to set up the beacon. Head to the town of Overlook. Thanks to Hyperion's mining operations, the people of Overlook suffer from the skull shivers. They won't disturb us. Yeah. That, that's not really positive, is it? So the people at Overlook are suffering from a disease called Skull Shivers because of Hyperion's mining operations. Uh, that's why they won't disturb us, but that doesn't make it any less grim. So let's just head through... Oh. We've got no plan to stop Jack, but at least the quakes from his drills aren't shaking the city anymore. Silver linings, you know? I can't believe Jack was controlling the Angel all along. We almost got killed opening the vault. Just so we could bring that son of a bitch into power. Well, now we're almost getting killed just to get him out of power. Nice to know some things never change. There we go. We get to hear the original Vault Hunters chatting about again. But let's get to Overlook. And there we go. The actual oh, Highlands. This is so frustrating. You see, this is what I don't get about you bad guys. You know the hero's gonna win, but you just don't die quickly. Man, I... Example, this one guy in New Haven, right? City's burning, people are dying left and right, yada, yada, yada. This jackal rushes me with a spoon. <laughs> a freaking spoon, and I'm dying laughing, right? 
So I scoop out his stupid little eyeballs with it, and his kids are all, oh, yeah! And I'm like, I can't get, oh, I can't, he can't see where he's going. He's bumping into stuff, and I, anyway, I don't know, maybe you had to be there. The moral is, you're a total bitch. Okay, thank you, Jack, for that horrifying story. Those surveyors are really going high. Get down here, you stupid thing. There we go. Let it rain, I say. And there's another Hyperion stronghold over here, so let's get to aggregate acquisition and clear out this place before we get to overlook. Is there something I want to show you guys here, which is a little, little bit of an Easter egg? But there's a hell of a lot of loaders in here, so this is going to take a bit of time. But again, we have a chance at some nice loot. Oh, what the hell is he using? A Thor gun. So that's interesting. So loaders can actually just use normal weapons, as we said before. But that also makes them very unpredictable sometimes. And engineers are, of course, human beings with flesh. So that's where fire comes in again. Ooh, that's two badasses. So let's just get the sniper rifle out. There goes one of those. I think I can... There we go. Let's do this. And then we can actually just melee this guy. And that gets us a bit closer to the badass loaded. Goodbye. Executed. Stack gives us nothing in particular so kind of following the same system using the fire weapons for the engineers and then the corrosive weapons for the loaders no you don't need repairs you just need to die it's that's where things and ow thanks you dick and then on top of the bridge we have a constructed over here Let's fill them up with grenades and get back a bit because there's quite a few uh, engineers in the back as well. Oh, and that third is going to be annoying. As long as you interrupt his eye during the constructing phase, he might actually just die. Ooh, that's going to be annoying. Let's just get my shield back. There he goes. There's a, is that an engineer on the roof? Ow! Oh, bull loaders. What? Wait, what the hell? He was still shooting at me for some reason. There we go. There we go. Okay, so that's why corrosive damage is really, really important with these guys. So even though they can seemingly block it, they still are vulnerable for the effect itself because there's all green numbers over there. That is a shiny slag sniper rifle. I'm gonna take that. Yup, 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 yup. Give me that. The slag. Uh, I think I done the explanation about slag before but slag just causes enemies to be weakened causing you to uh, do double damage on them after they are slagged so if you apply the elemental effect i think there's one more weapons chest over there so if i just there we go it's another doll snack that i've said so the left one is also still slag we can see they're really really vulnerable when that happens There we go. So you can quickly take out uh, heavy powered, well, very powered enemies like that. I think there's still one more weapons chest over there. So if you go back a bit, so past the hangar that those two badass loaders came out of, there's actually an outcropping over here. Yeah, and there's a little tent down there. Well, not really a tent, just uh, a bit of tarp. If you go over here, oh, there we go. Ah, 
Uh, for some reason it wasn't even visible, but you get a trophy for that. If you stand over here, Claptrap does his own reenactment of the uh, double rainbow internet video, which is which is really, really funny. If you rem don't remember that video, you can check it on YouTube. It's uh, prevalent all over the place. It's just someone who went camping and sees a double rainbow and for some reason starts freaking the hell out. And uh, that's the Easter egg over here. You get a trophy for your troubles as well. But that over there is overlooked. So we were actually heading in the right direction. Just going to jump down. And then we can head inside the, uh, well, not so happy town of Overlook. Next time on Borderlands 2, we learn about grinder regulations.